All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I had me a little girl three months ago, and things have been busy since then, so um, I ain't been able to put no videos up, but I'm back, and um, I'm going to try to um, put some stuff on here that'll make you like me again. <laughs> but I'll just do some still shots of some of these... Um, information ads and you can pause and and read them if you want to but um these are about um the missouri indians and the tribes and um my video tonight is going to be over um the uh period of the initial european contact with native missourians Compared to prehistoric sites in Missouri, the Native American sites dating after contact are rare. The prehistoric period lasted over 10,000 years, while contact sites occurred just 200 years, the 16th and 19th centuries. Contact sites are rarely to be represented by small triangular arrow points, shell-tempered pottery, bits of metal from cooking pots and guns, gun flints, beads of European manufacture and broken glass. Alright fellas, that's enough reading. It's time to show and tell. I got some, uh, there's some triangle points here and here's some beads and there's a glass um, European manufacture bead right there. And um, main reason why I got this video on is because um, a buddy of mine, once a year, we'll, we'll take something out of our collection and and uh, give to one another. We're hunting buddies. And at this site, he found, we was together and we was hunting, he found one of the best shell beads I've ever seen in my life. There it is. And that's not native to this area. I'm from the Boot Hill, Missouri. And this thing here is down from the ocean. It's down from the, co the, the coast. All right, sorry about that. My my camera got full of storage. I had to delete some stuff. But anyway, let's get back to where we was at here with some. This is a shell bead that it just blows my mind. And um, it's still got the mud in it. I'm debating whether I want to clean that out or leave that in there. Um, but I got a toothpick and I real careful poked a hole through it just to, you know, kind of examine and see how they drilled that. But you can see if my camera will pick up here, you know, they've, it's got some scratch marks where they've been polishing it up and stuff. And it's got that, um, I guess you'd call it patina or some kind of a black um, soil deposit or something that's, that's built up on the bottom here. But, um, you know, that there kind of resembles that that one there but you know I like mine better because you can hold this one play with it um, but anyway that's my story and um, some good looking uh, pictures on here and well I guess since I got you on here I'm going to I got to show you an arrowhead can't do a video without an arrowhead so um, there's one of the one of the better looking points that I've found in my life and um, this one here come from the cash site and it is just a beaut I mean this thing's got red and blue it's got a quartz quartz pocket right there and that runs through to the other side uh, I'm not sure if that alright sorry fellas my camera died again on me I got like, filled up storage but um, real quick before it does it again I just want to give you a good look at how well this point's made. I mean, it's thin, and it's just, um, the, it, you just don't come across these too often. Um, and then I want to take the time to say that I appreciate every single one of you for watching my videos, commenting, and God bless you, and I hope um, all of y'all find one. Twice the size of this big boy. Later, everybody. Good luck.